Yes, and welcome back to another video. We're gonna do a bit of a uh, let's drive uh, video, like a drive with me sort of video. Uh, this morning, just dropped off the missus at some work, and uh, yeah, and the bab at school. So let's get on. We're gonna talk about what I want to do with the channel, so on so forth. Uh, see where this takes us. Let's go for a bit of a drive. So I'll tell you a bit about me, really. So I've done YouTube for a few years now. I've done a vaping channel. Right. I'll have to stop because uh, we've got people crossing. So yeah, I've done a vaping channel. I've done a weight loss channel where I've lost like over 10 stone. Um, no, and I've, I've started this one. I'm a bit of a YouTube whore in that sort of respect. Um, you know, I've got a pretty, I did pretty well with my vaping one. I did all right with uh, the weight loss one as well. But I wanted to try something a bit different and like modify my very first car, which is the 307 uh, CC, well, SCC, it's the sports model. And yeah, basically, I want to do quite a few bits to it. You can, this, this car is 16 years old, so it is a very old car. It's got really no sound uh, proofing in here, maybe get that, something like that sorted. But the one main thing for this car, because it drives absolutely sound, that's absolutely perfect. The one thing that you really need sorting is getting the paint work sorted, really. So I'm just going to insert into this video of the drive, uh, the let's drive video. Um, told you about the, the scratches on the uh, on the car, and this is I'm just going to show you the few scratches. They're not like major scratches or something or, or like that, but they're they're a pain in my, my backside. The, the the main one. Is a deep scratch on the on the boot, uh, so yeah, want to get that sorted out. Um, either fill it in and wrap over it, or you know, sand it down, bring it back, like then fill it. I don't know. Let me go. Let let, let me know, guys. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll insert that while the or the other me in the car is talking about that. But I just wanted to insert this into this video. So yeah. It's gonna be more of a ball like all this sun, man. So I've got a few ideas to get around that because I'll show bloody hell. If I've got dash cam footage as well, I'll show I'll show you that just pulled out right in front of me without even waiting for me to go past. Some people are just idiots. Uh, so yeah, I've got a few ideas. Maybe stuff like wrapping the whole car, which costs a hell of a lot of money. A 
hell of a lot of money. It's like two and a half grand just to get that done. Or try and do like, and I'll tell you what, Matt Armstrong, I've watched the, uh, his Audi TT series, um, and he's put an idea in my head of doing like little bits of wrap around the car to make it look like red and black camo maybe. I don't know, uh, put your guys think things down in the comments. That might be a thing, it might not be. I don't know, I don't know what to do. But in my head it's going to look really cool if I do the red and black camo thing. Because the car's red anyway, there's black accents everywhere on the car. So why not do some matte black camo design maybe? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I think that'd be really cool to be honest. Uh, yeah. Everything I've done to the car so far has been cosmetic. Uh, so I've, all I've done really is paint the badges, put a stick on uh, front splitter. I, I want to do the skirts as well. I do want to do some performance stuff. I want to put a, uh, like an air filter on here. It's only going to be cheap one because I work full time. The missus works part time. You know, it's just it's just one of them. So I can't really do a lot. And I'll do so if you can hear like every little bits of noise in this car. It is what it is. I do want to put an aftermarket exhaust on to make it sound a little bit better. Uh, you know, I've just got a standard exhaust with standard back box. I do want to make that a little bit louder. I don't know what to do with that. Once again, <coughs> that's down to money. It really is. And I don't have a lot of money. Um, so it's. This is going to be like a, like a series, basically, of what I can and can't do. You know, I've, I've just bought some indicators, uh, some strobing indicators. So that's going to be a thing on here. Uh, have a lot of pull. You know, this car, like I said, 16 years old. It's uh, 110 brake horse when from the factory. Now I'm not too sure. I'd love to get a dyno test on it. I really would, and that's get really dark. Because I've got the sun right behind me. Hopefully, because I've got tint to do the tinted windows. So hopefully I can do that. I'd love 
love to get some custom headlamps if anyone knows where I can get some on not expensive but right, 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 reasonably cheap. Cool gun pass to view, can I? Some people just don't know how to drive, really don't know how to drive. Now, I've only been driving since August this year. Uh, August 2021 and I know how to drive more than what some people do around here so where to go from a little town in the West Midlands you know and ridiculous absolutely ridiculous I work for a little shop in, in, in the middle of the town where I work to do a 0 to 16 this as well and see where, what I'll get out of it but I can't do that just because I've got a black box yes I'm a 30 year old man with a black box what am I meant to do you know this car was given to me by my sister and my brother-in-law as well I'm really grateful for that. There's a, they said this wouldn't last me until January, but it, does, it drives fine. I've just changed the brake pads on it. My dad said, well, my dad's a mechanic, and he said it's, it's mechanically sound. Uh, he's, he's had a new uh, start motor on it. He's had a new gearbox, well, gear changer on it, gear selector. Uh, what else did he have new on it? You know, the only thing really that needed changing on this, which I've done, was the number plates. The number plates was all cracked when I first had this. Um, I'll show you a picture, I'll pop them up. I've got them uh, still sitting at home, to be honest. I've, got, I've still got one in the boot. I think that one is the rear one I've got in the boot. Uh, now, that was an advisory. Just gonna go back home now. Uh, that was an advisory. Uh, well, indicate the bulb on the passenger side front headlamp. That was an advisory, saying it was discoloured. We changed that last week. Uh, on Sunday when we did the brakes uh, what else was there? there was something else uh, wheel, wheel nuts couldn't be checked because of caps on them so what I'm going to have to do before this goes in for MOT in January is just take the caps off uh, what else was there? I think that was it everything else we've changed uh, front driver's side uh, wheel close to legal limit um, on the outside, uh, not in the middle, because the middle is still a bit. We did the, the, the gauge on it, and it's three, three millimeters in, in some parts, two millimeters in some some others, and the legal limit is uh, 1.6 millimeters. So we couldn't understand what that was coming from. Then we re read it, and it was more of to do with the. Uh, to do with the outside of the wheel and we are home so let's just back up So yeah, it's one of them. So 
That was a bit of a drive with me video, boys and girls. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna call it like a let's drive series. If you like this sort of video, let me know down in the comments. I know I've always got this beast hoodie on. Uh, big up uh, Eddie Hall. Um, I ain't got no other hoodies, except for my work hoodies. Uh, I think I'm getting one for uh, um, Christmas, I think. Christmas is coming up. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to get a few companies on board, but it's one of them. I'm a small YouTuber. Um, no, not many people. Well, nobody really sees my content. The the people that do see my content, they I think it's like eighty percent of people that look at my content is unsubscribed. So that is a good point. So if you are not subscribed right now, down there, just down there, get onto it. Press that subscribe button, like the video. It helps me such a lot um, in the long run to get these sort of videos done for you guys. But, you know, I enjoy doing YouTube. Um, YouTube is a sort of passion for me, and yeah, it's one of them. Can I keep up, keep it keep it up? I, I did, like I said, I've been doing YouTube for a, a number of years now. I've, I've done like I said, my, my vaping channel, the weight loss channel. I even did a sort of vlog channel which I gave up on because the vaping channel took over. Um, didn't have time to do it, but this is the only channel that I'm, I'm actually doing at the minute. I'm not doing any other channels, but yeah, that's, that's about it, guys, for today's video. Next video will probably be putting the indicators on, um, showing you how to do that. Let me know, know down in the comments what you guys think about doing sort of camo-ish wrap on the car but it won't be a full wrap it'll just be pieces put on the car to cover up some of the scratches and the dents and stuff um maybe that's a good a, a, an idea like i said that uh matt armstrong he gave me the idea of doing that and i think it might look cool it might cover up some of the scratches what i can sand down and it's going to be cheaper because I can get a massive roll for of uh, vinyl for like 15 quid and I can do the whole car. Where one tin of the paint for this car is 15 quid and it won't do like half of the, half of the things that I need doing on this car. So it might be the cheaper option because if I do it wrong, I've got more wrap. Um, so yeah, future videos is going to be the indicators some point i am going to get these back windows wrapped i promise i'm going to get them tinted i've got the tint in, in the uh in the house but yeah next video will be doing the indicators and yeah that's going to be it from me today guys thank you very much for watching like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching guys Ta -ra -ra -bit. <laughs>